the Akashic record is the recording of your soul's journey through all time space continuum. So what that means is that if you can imagine that when you individuate from source and go on a journey around the galaxy, everything you have ever been or done, whether it's here on earth or in other places or dimensions, is recorded in your own personal Akashic record. So you have your own personal library and your own personal librarians. So we are literally so much more than we think we are. There is a huge group of us who are here to wake others up and to teach them and to help guide them through things like Positive Prime, through learning to access the Akashic Records, really, you know, through so many different uh, modalities in different ways. So, of course, we're not, you know, all meant to be awake at the same time. I believe it's a process, but I believe it's one that is absolutely possible. When I was about three years old, I realized I just was very conscious that I was in a body. I literally, literally remember like looking at my hands and thinking, oh no, I'm trapped back in a body and telling my mother saying, I, I want to go back. You know, I want to go home. <laughs> so I know a lot of people who have been on a spiritual path for most of their life kind of have some of that like am I done yet? Why am I here again? You know, all of those kinds of things. So because I was so kind of aware of not only being in a body, I could remember not being in a body. I could remember being an etheric being. And I teach people a five-step wisdom prayer system that the Akashic Record Keepers, our librarians, gave us. Um, and I believe it's very simple, but it's not always easy. And, you know, really, honestly, as we who have been seekers, been probably most of us have been seeking for our lifetime, we know that there really is no magic bullet it takes more than one minute or one time, right? Even as, you know, we are positively priming ourselves, we want to do that every day. It's important to practice our spiritual practices every day. And so, yes, I believe that it is everyone's birthright and it is very possible. And for some people, maybe take a little more work. And for some people, they get it right in the first minute. If you could imagine that you were born into a very challenging family, and I imagine that most people would think, you know, what the heck? Why would I do that? I wouldn't pick that, you know? But when you can start to understand that your soul wanted to grow by having experiences to help and support other soul family members, we write soul contracts with other people to support them, to learn from them, to love them, to be creative beings together, right? Which means that we really often create a business or like I say, or it might be a family. Um, it might be just a, a lovely friendship. But when we can start to understand that there is purpose in everything, then it helps us to kind of get out of that feeling or place of, of victimhood, where we feel that we're a victim to the family we were born into or our circumstances. And we can start to understand that we, as a huge infinite divine soul, wanted to have that experience. And often it is because we want to 
see the bigger picture, understand that, and then share or teach what we have learned with other people. We have soul family members scattered around the world. One of the great reasons that I love to travel. But um, I actually really recommend to my my clients and my students that they use Positive Prime every day because when I do an Akashic reading and a healing session, it's a layer, it's a piece. And then my suggestion is, and then continue clearing and working by using and watching Positive Prime videos every day. So we're working on rewiring the brain, shifting the way we see the world, changing our energy. And that is something that's important to do on a regular basis, on a daily basis. And so... If someone comes to me and has an Akashic record reading or two or three in a year, because we're peeling back some big pieces there, we're looking at maybe the next steps in their life or, or healing some of the trauma from their childhood. In between, it's really important for us to have ways to continue to support our spiritual growth and Positive Prime is perfect for that. we know that in order to recreate this world, we have so many layers of things we need to do. It, you know, healthy organic food and exercise and love and kindness and compassion, you know, in doing things like Positive Prime and watching those videos and learning to access your Akashic record, all very, very helpful, right? And it takes a little bit of all of it over time. And then we wake up one day and we go, wow, my life is really different than it was just two months ago, or it might be two years. It depends on, you know, every one of us because we are such unique souls. But when we start on this path and decide to make it a practice, a little bit of all of these really good for us things, then eventually we will transform and we will, to me, step into being the creator beings that we truly are, which means that we really can create the life that our heart and soul desires. I have seen you know, person after person realize that they have a gift to share from what that experience taught them. And some of them go out and, and they become social workers or therapists, or, you know, they help the homeless person down the street. So, I mean, again, there is not a right way to do any of these things. It's just realizing you have learned something and you now have something to give to others. So we never make a plan to always suffer. We do often write a plan to have some pretty traumatic experiences, but it's always about the learning and the growth and the um, gifts that we then have to help other people to learn and to grow and to move out of that space. had a degree in commercial photography. I went into production in advertising um, and uh, well, and then I started over. <laughs> but all of that has made it possible for me to do what I do. And so the interesting thing is, is that no one has one purpose. People often come to me and say, what is my purpose? And the record keepers sometimes laugh and say, your soul has many purposes, and one of them is to complete your soul's plan. And included in that plan are soul contracts and a variety of purposes and gifts and talents. And we would be so bored if we did one thing our whole life, right? <laughs> you know. 
and sometimes our purpose is you know to to save the planet and sometimes it's to help the children or you know the elderly or i mean it is all perfect and all so important and so I often have people come to me and and sometimes they're in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and they say, you know, I'd really like to have a soul partner. Now I'm really ready for that relationship. And um, and they had not pre-written a contract for that, but the record keepers say you can write it now in a way it takes some of the awareness and some of the um we've had to have done a lot of our work. And then you get that ability to write a soul contract with a partner who's here to support you in every way, you know, through your your spiritual life. And so it's very it's a very, very, very exciting time. I know it can look a little challenging if you watch the news. So I always say, don't watch the news, just live in your bubble. <laughs> it works better. But yeah, we really have the ability to raise our vibration, to become conscious of who we are, of our soul's plan, and to write new contracts and to really recreate ourselves in a lot of ways. I think all of these things, especially as people are getting more intuitive and waking up and, and some of your clairs are coming online, it's really important for us to kind of energetically stay in our own field unless someone invites us into their space or asks for us to give them, you know, our opinion or to, to access our records or to do a psychic reading, whatever it might be. It really is important because um, everyone has, you know, the... Um, we really come in to really live our lives and do our own lives. And it isn't literally kind of anyone else's business. And so unless you request help and support, and then we're here for you.